Welcome back to the channel. Uh, here we've got our 1971 240Z. We've had this thing for about a year and you may have seen it in the background of some of our other videos and I think it's a good time for an introduction. We actually traded a school bus for it. Uh, if you didn't know, before we bought this warehouse that we're currently in, my wife Tegan and I bought a school bus in Florida and converted it into an RV, drove it up here to North Carolina. We lived in it for three years before we finished our home upstairs and moved into this building. After the three years, we were, we were over the bus thing. Uh, I have no desire to ever stay another night in a bus. So we put it up for sale and a nice young man up the mountain from us contacted me and said he had a 1971 240Z that was rust free and mostly original. I didn't believe him, but I said, eh, let's just go ahead and bring it down here. I'll check it out. You know, you can check out the bus and, and kind of go from there. Anyway, I took one drive in this thing and I had to have it. So he's got the bus. He's living in it full time now. It's awesome. I'm glad that it went to a new home and I'm happy with the Z. So in that year of ownership, we have done nothing to this and it has been such a reliable car. I've driven it quite a bit, not quite daily, but very often and it has not skipped a beat. All I've done is oil changes and a couple of tweaks here and there. The last time I was driving it though, the master cylinder finally quit on me and it's time to do a little bit of work on this thing. So I've got it up on the lift and I've got some brakes, I've got other maintenance parts and I'm gonna do a little going through of this thing and just kind of freshen it up. Anyway, I'm gonna get all these parts out. There's quite a bit of stuff so just bear with me as I get all these things unpacked. And then I'll start turning some wrenches and get some work done on this thing. of most of the parts we're going to replace and some of them are still on the way like you can only see one caliper here there's another caliper on the way uh, basically we've got the clutch hydraulics we've got a clutch hose we've got a mechanical fuel pump right now there's a holly clicker pump on there and sometimes those things just quit on random and i prefer not to deal with that so i'm just going to put a mechanical pump back on new calipers new rotors for the front new drums for the rear now these appear to be a cast iron the factory ones were aluminum and they were a little lighter, but I was always kind of concerned that they may have been warping or getting out of round. So I'm kind of happy that they're not aluminum. Uh, I'm probably going to gain a little weight, but I'm not really concerned about it. We've got new hardware for the rear drums, new U-joints, shift boot. Right now the factory boot is just rotted out and I've got this rag kind of zip tied around the shifter to block the exhaust fumes and other crap coming up through the hole. So this is going to be a nice upgrade. Urethane steering shaft coupler, spark plugs, new headlights because the ones on here, they're pretty much gone. So that's going to be a nice upgrade. Wix oil filter uh, and new brake pads for the front. This is going to be a pretty good amount of work as I'm pulling some of this stuff off. I want to sandblast and powder coat some of the suspension parts and brake backing plates and whatnot just to keep it all nice and clean. And uh, then I'm going to put it back together and have some fun with it. So stay tuned.
that's a good stopping point for part one of the 240z build if you liked it there's definitely gonna be some more content on this car i didn't get to finish installing all the parts that i showed in the beginning i figured i'd just kind of cut this video short just so you guys don't get bored and also there's gonna be other modifications we'll be making to the vehicle and at some point i'll probably put an interior in it so stay tuned for that if you enjoyed the music selection for this video a couple of friends of mine started a band and it's called the old futures you can check them out over at Bandcamp. I'll make sure and put a link down below to where you can go check them out. Definitely take a minute and go over there and listen to some of the tracks. I didn't tell my buddies that I was going to use their music in this video, so Danny, Matt, appreciate it ahead of time for letting me use your music. I think it fit the build pretty well. Uh, anyways, I think that pretty much wraps it up, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.